Paul. <laughs> you know, um, these fools, they call themselves law enforcement. Yes. Mm -hmm. That they use the same kind of forms as all the other police departments. Yes. The fools that call themselves sheriffs. Yes. That use the same kind of forms as all the other sheriff's departments. Yes. We have standardized the reporting of certain crimes. Yes, we have. <laughs> we have these uh, forms. Yes. That are in compliance with the necessary state laws. Yes. As well as the protections of the state constitution. Yes. And then there's the United States Constitution. Right. And then there are the actual conventions, treaties, agreements of the United States of America. <laughs> Now, when I get to Sioux and Sheriff's Departments for knowing that that protection order does not look like anything that they've served in the past because each and every one of them should have had the personal experience of could have been the first five years of employment where you're the individual that's the low man on the totem pole. I'm genderizing. Yes. Where you get to go out there and find the guy and serve him. OK, because I've been here for a long time and I had to do it when I was first to blood in the sheriff's office. Now, they don't always send their best and brightest out to serve those that are accused of domestic violence or child abuse as much as you think they would. They don't. <laughs> but the truth is, every individual in the employment of any city or county yes, has had to serve these protection orders. Yes. And they have had to actually arrest persons for violating them. Yes. And for you to say that you can use a traffic citation. <laughs> now, there's the two count criminal complaint where you didn't involve law enforcement. Which, let's say I went through the prosecuting attorney's office right now. I got to talk to you right now. OK, let's say I did that. <laughs> and a bunch of uh, fools known as prosecuting attorneys. Yes. They all use criminal complaints to uh, accuse individuals of cyber stalking and violating the restraint provisions of protection orders <laughs> instead of calling the sheriff that does this every day, <laughs> instead of calling the police department that happens to do it every day. <laughs> they decide to go around the sheriff and around the police departments. Yes, making up some bullshit story that I was in Brennan, Washington. Yes, <laughs> because it happens in every prosecuting attorney. <laughs> Now, these fools that call themselves prosecutors and murderers, that always use a two-count criminal complaint, they always do it. They are complete idiots to believe that that two-count criminal complaint is what you use when you want to prosecute somebody for cyber-stalking and violate a restraint professions of a fraudulent protection order that looks nothing like the rest of the fools right now. <laughs>